Jovalim Jubilees 21. And in the sixth year of the seventh week of this Jubilee, Avraham called Yitzhak his son and commanded him, saying, I am become old and know not the day of my death and am full of my days. And behold, I am 175 years old. And throughout all the days of my life, I have remembered Yahuwah and sought with all my heart to do his will and to walk uprightly in all his ways. My soul has hated idols, given my heart and ruach that I might observe to do the will of him who created me. For he is the living Elohim and he is holy and faithful and he is righteous beyond all. And there is with him no accepting of men's persons and no accepting of gifts. For Elohim is righteous and executes judgment on all those who transgress his commandments and despise his covenant. And do you, my son, observe his commandments and his ordinances and his judgments and walk not after the abominations and after graven images and after the molten images and eat no blood at all of animals or cattle or of any bird which flies in the heaven. And if you do slay a victim as an acceptable peace offering, slay ye it and pour out its blood upon the altar. And all the fat of the offering offer on the altar with fine flour and the meat offering mingled with oil with its drink offering. Offer them all together on the altar of burnt offering. It is a sweet savor before Yahuwah. And you will offer the fat of the sacrifice of thank offerings on the fire which is upon the altar and the fat which is on the belly and all the fat on the inwards and the two kidneys and all the fat that is upon them and upon the loins and liver you shall remove together with the kidneys. And offer all these for a sweet savor acceptable before Yahuwah, with its meat offering and with its drink offering, for a sweet savor, the bread of the offering unto Yahuwah. And eat its meat on that day and on the second, and let not the sun on the second day go down upon it till it is eaten. And let nothing be left over for the third day, for it is not acceptable for it is not approved, and let it no longer be eaten. And all who eat thereof will bring sin upon themselves. For thus I have found it written in the Kerafim, rather, Seferim of my forefathers. And in the words of Kanak, and in the words of Noah, and on all your oblations you shall strew salt. And let not the salt of the covenant be lacking in all your oblations before Yahuwah. And as regards to the wood of the sacrifices, beware lest you bring other wood for the altar. In addition to these, cypress, bay, almond, fir, pine, cedar, savine, fig, olive, Myr, laurel, aspalatus, and of these kinds of wood lay upon the altar under the sacrifice, such as have been tested as to their appearance. And do not lay thereon any split or dark wood, but hard and clean, without fault, a sound and new growth. And do not lay thereon old wood, for its fragrance is gone, for there is no longer fragrance in it as before. Besides these kinds of wood, there is none other that you should place on the altar, for the fragrance is dispersed, and the smell of its fragrance goes not up to heaven. Observe this commandment and do it, my son, that you may be upright in all your deeds, 
and at all times be clean in your body and wash yourself with water before you approach to offer on the altar and wash your hands and your feet before you draw near to the altar. And when you are done sacrificing, wash again your hands and your feet. And let no blood appear upon you, nor upon your clothes. Be on your guard, my son, against blood. Be on your guard exceedingly. Cover it with dust. Do not eat any blood, for it is the soul Eat no blood whatsoever, and take no gifts for the blood of man, lest it should be shed with impunity, without judgment, for it is the blood that is shed that causes the earth to sin, and the earth cannot be cleansed from the blood of man, save by the blood of him who shed it. And take no present or gift for the blood of man, blood for blood, that you may be accepted before Yahuwah El Elyon, for he is the defense of the good, and that you may be preserved from all evil, and that he may save you from every kind of death. I see, my son, that all the works of the children of men are sin and wickedness, and all their deeds are uncleanness and an abomination and a pollution, and there is no righteousness with them. Beware, lest you should walk in their ways and tread in their paths and sin a sin unto death before El Elyon, else he will hide his face from you and give you back into the hands of your transgression and root you out of the land and your seed likewise from under heaven and your name and your seed shall perish from the whole earth. Turn away from all their deeds and all their uncleanness and observe the ordinance of El Elyon and do his will and be upright in all things. And he will bless you in all your deeds and will raise up from you a plant of righteousness through all the earth throughout all generations of the earth, and my name and your name shall not be forgotten under heaven forever. Go, my son, in peace. May El Elyon, my Elohim, and your Elohim strengthen you to do his will, and may he bless all your seed and the remnant of your seed for gen the generations forever with all righteous blessings, that ye may be a blessing on all the earth. And he went out from him rejoicing.